In this video I'll show you how you can achieve this 2D 3D hybrid look. We are using a 2D sprite based character while our backgrounds are 3D and stylized. You can see that the character is affected by shadows, is casting shadows and also affected by light. This way we can have the best of both worlds by having cool looking pixel art characters while having them be affected by modern lighting and particle effects. The first game I know using a similar style is Octopath Traveler which is also made with Unreal Engine, however they decided to also keep the backgrounds more pixelated. So let me walk you through the process. The first thing you need is a character. There aren't many pixel art assets on the Unreal Engine marketplace so you're probably better off finding them somewhere else, like itch.io. I then brought the character into A-Sprite and just did a quick recolor. Most of what we're gonna do already works with Unreal Engine 5 but I had some issues with the cast shadow so I'm using 4.26 now. We can use the 2D side scroll template to get started quicker but it's not necessary. First drag and drop your sprite sheet into the project. Right click, sprite actions, apply paper 2D texture settings. Then right click sprite actions and extract sprites. For sprite extract mode you want to set grid and then put in your cell width and height. You should then create a folder for each of your animations you plan on using so we can create a flipbook. Select all of your frames for one animation and then right click create flipbook. We can now see our idle animation playing. You might want to adjust the frames per second if it's going too fast or slow. Open up the character blueprint and select the sprite component. We can now use the flipbook we just created for our idle animation. Adjust the size and position of the sprite until it feels right. Open up the event graph and find the handle animation event. For the case that we are not in motion, we use our new idle animation here as well. We now need to do the same thing for our run animation as well. Once the flipbook is set up, open up the blueprint again. Set it as our value for the case that we are moving. Select the side view camera component. We want to change the camera from orthographic to perspective. This will allow us to see everything in 3D rather than having it be flattened. Here I'm moving the camera up and away, however it's actually better to do this on the boomstick rather than the camera itself. When we start the game now the perspective is already a lot better. To test the shadows add a plane. You can see that it's completely black which means there's no lights in our scene. Add a directional light. We want our character to cast shadows, so go into the sprite component and tick cast shadow. We also want our character to be affected by lights, but now we are using an unlit sprite material. To be able to see the material we need, you need to go to view options and show engine content and show plugin content. Search for masked lit sprite material. You can place a few objects and lights into the scene to see how this is affecting our character now. You might get some strange artifacts when your character is animating. This is most likely due to the anti-aliasing settings. Sending it to FXAA fixed this for me. The next step is to import a map of your choice. You can simply search the marketplace for assets that are tagged as stylized if you want to go for the same look. Even without further modification this is already looking pretty good. This map already comes with a few changes to the post processing settings so it's already looking good, however we want to change a few more things. We want to add some depth of field so the backgrounds are blurred out a bit more and their characters are more in focus. Getting the perfect values here is pretty hard and you have to fiddle around with it a little bit. I then also raise the bloom a little bit to make the highlights stand out even more. In this scene by default it seems that it's about noon. This means that the sun is right above most of our models and gives us very short shadows. However, to get a more interesting look we want to have longer shadows, so we'll change the direction of the directional light. To give the scene more depth I want to add a particle effect that looks like glowworms floating around. Uh, this is a free package on the marketplace I'm importing. I simply have to drag in the glowworm blueprint and change a few settings. The next step is optional depending on what kind of style you're going for. As opposed to Octopath Traveler, all of our materials are very high detailed and the texture resolution is pretty high. I personally like this look, however if you want to make it more pixelated you can change some of the texture settings. Select all of your textures and right click and select Bulk Edit via Property Matrix. We change the texture group to be 2D pixels unfiltered. And this process is gonna take a little while. 
Once your shaders are done compiling, you can see that the material is already looking a little bit rougher. Additionally, we also want to change the LOD bias. In my case, I'm picking 3. This will basically tell Unreal Engine to render the texture at a low resolution without us having to change it manually in Photoshop. One more thing you could do is lower the complexity of some of the meshes. Doing this in a 3D software is very cumbersome, so we're just going to change the LOD settings to simulate this. But even with this, doing this for all of your items will take a lot of time and will still not give you the exact Octopath Traveler look. If you really want to go for exactly that look, you probably have to model something yourselves or hire somebody. But this is pretty much as close as we can get it with Marketplace assets without putting too much time into it. I also want to decorate the background with some 2D sprites, so I'm importing another sprite sheet. When we drag these into the scene, we need to make sure that Cast Shadow is set to active. We also need to change the material to a lit sprite material, so they can be affected by lights and shadows. And this is the final result. You can still play around with all the values we talked about until you achieve the perfect look, but I think this is already looking pretty good. I actually start developing a beat em up with this graphic style, so if you want to see how it turns out, make sure to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.